Hi friends, in this video we solve uh, TRB 2016 uh, questions from uh, circuit theory. Let us see the questions. The first question is the reciprocity theorem is applicable to, it is a direct question, it is applicable to linear and bilateral networks. Linear networks means it obeys uh, principle of superposition. Right? So, bilateral theorem is applicable only for linear networks and it is also applicable for bilateral networks. Bilateral networks is a network in which uh, what you call a relation between voltage and current won't change, will not change in either direction in the network, in either direction in the network. So, when you measure voltage and current from input side or output side, the relation won't change. So, that uh, network is called bilateral network. So, reciprocity theorem is applicable to linear and bilateral network only. Okay, next question. For the circuit shown in figure, what is the value of uh, resonance, right? So, it is like a parallel resonance circuit. So, whenever we have a parallel resonance circuit, go for uh, admittance so i write admittance because writing admittance for parallel resonance is parallel circuit is very easy so admittance is 1 by r so here for this branch r 1 by r is 10 plus j 10 right in parallel admittance can be added so plus 1 by r minus j 2 right so admittance is, this is a here admittance is 1 by uh, this is 10 plus j 10 here admittance is 1 by i r minus j 2 right okay so what is the magnitude of the admittance the magnitude of the admittance is given by mod y is equal to uh, 10 square plus 10 square plus 1 by r square plus Four, right okay <coughs> so this is the magnitude right so magnitude of the admittance we will get like this okay next what we have to do okay see how sorry uh, let me change in a different way what i do is i simplify this what do you think i take the complex conjugate of numerator and denominator i i make the problem shorter so I take complex conjugate so 10 minus j10 in the denominator if I multiply with the complex conjugate it will become 10 square plus 10 square similarly I multiply and divide with the complex conjugate so r plus j2 if I divide uh, multiply r minus j2 into r plus j2 it will become r square plus 4 right so now what I do I split the real part and the imaginary part real part is uh, 10 by 10 square plus 10 square 200 here this is real part here real part is r by r square plus uh, 4 imaginary part is i here imaginary part is uh, sir g this is minus 10 divided by 200 here uh, 2 divided by r square plus 4 right okay so now we know it is a parallel resonance so for resonance circuit imaginary part will be zero because we know that for resonance z is equal to r right there is no reactive component the z is a when at resonance what will happen z is equal to real number distance only so here imaginary part should be equal to zero j is talking about capacitance or inductance so i make this part is zero so minus 10 by 200 plus 2 by r squared plus 4 is equal to 0. This implies r squared is equal to 36. So r is equal to 6 ohm. Right? So the answer is 6 ohm. Simple problem. Okay. Next. If a network has B branches and N nodes, then the number of mesh current equation, it's a direct question. So, number of mesh current equation is given by branch B minus N minus 1. So, option A is a direct. 
and no problem. So if a network has 68 nodes, so here what they are telling, n is equal to 68, branches b is equal to 200, what is the number of independent loop current? Uh, so independent loop current is nothing but independent loop current equation. So this indicate now only we have seen the formula is uh, number of equation is given by number of equation is given by b minus b is 200 n minus 1 that is given by 133. So option d is a right answer, right? Okay, next question. Um, in the network, the degree of node, the degree of node is nothing but number of bridges connected in the node. Degree of node is nothing but number of edges connected to the node. Okay, so here you see uh, edge is nothing but a branch. So at this node, node 1, we have three edges. This one, this, this one, this one, this one are connected. So here degree is 3 at node 1. At node 2, you see how many edges are connected? D, E, C. Again, 3 are connected. At node 3, you see F, A, D are connected. Again, here degree is 3. At 4, B, E, F are connected. So again, the degree is 3. So all the nodes are having uh, <coughs> 3 edges. So degree is 3. All 3. Okay. Next question. A series uh, RL circuit with R is equal to uh, 10 ohm, L is equal to, let me write, R is equal to 10 ohm, L is equal to 0 0.2 Henry, has a voltage of 50, at T is equal to 0. See, the main word is, has a constant voltage. This is the proof. Right? What is the resulting current using the Laplace transform? They may say it is a use the Laplace transform, but we don't need to do because it is objective type question. We can use any method to find the answer because the result will be same. So if you apply a constant voltage to the RL circuit, what is I value? I is equal to V by R 1 minus E power minus R by L into T. V is 50, R is 10, 1 minus E power R is 10, L is uh, 0.2. So if you simplify phi into 1 minus e power minus 50 t, that is equal to phi, my, phi, in, phi minus phi into e power minus 50 t ampere, right? So this is the uh, answer, right? So they may say if you use Laplace transform, if it is a university exam, we can use, there is no other option. Here they are want answer only, so any method we can use, right? So the answer is option D. Next question. Yeah, current uh, I is equal to A 500 uh, A sin 500 ampere passes through the circuit shown below. What is the total voltage? You see it is RL circuit. In RL circuit, voltage leads. And we know that if uh, V is equal to, uh, sorry, I is equal to, in RL circuit, uh, V is equal to Vm sin omega t plus theta. Whereas I is equal to I m sin omega t. It is voltage leads by theta. So here uh, I is equal to A sin 500 t. So V must be equal to some sin 500 t plus theta. So amplitude may be anything. So B sin 500 t plus theta. So here it is wrong because it is having 200. We can say directly it is wrong. Here it is 500 t. It is also wrong because they are not uh, in phase. Voltage and current will be out of phase in RL. So this is also wrong. So our option must be B or C. So B is correct because it is leading, it is lagging. Okay, this is the way I have to understand. Next question. Yeah, series RLC circuit, uh, for a series RLC circuit, for if R is equal to 0.5, L is equal to 1, C is equal to 1, find the value. For series RLC circuit, Q is given by uh, what do you call 1 by R root of L by C. 1 by R is 0.5 L is 1 divided by 1 that is given by 2. So Q is 2. Q factor. So option B is the right answer. Next question. 
This is a simple question. When a series RC circuit is connected to a constant voltage at T is equal to 0, the current passing through the circuit at T is equal to 0 plus is we know that when RC circuit is connected with a constant voltage, uh, V 0 minus equal to V because the voltage across capacitor cannot change immediately. So after a constant voltage is applied at T is equal to 0, I is equal to V by R only. So option C is the right answer. Next, uh, what is this? Um, the value of R. For maximum, for maximum power transfer to take place for the rest of the network. So I have to find this value. What is R value? So for maximum power transfer, R L must be equal to R. So this is what let us assume R L load resistance. Here we have to find the thermal resistance. So let me find the thermal resistance for the circuit. R is equal to R for maximum power transfer. Right, so if I find R thermonym that is equal to this load resistor. So R thermonym only I have to find. For R thermonym, what we have to do? We have to open the current source and uh, what you call uh, short the um, voltage source. So what we do? Let me draw the diagram. Okay. So before that, what I do is um, okay. Open it. So open it means only we have two ohm here. Right, this is, and we have to remove the load also, so it will be like this. And let us assume this point is A, this point is B, so I can say it as AB, and here these two. So, what will happen? 5, 10. So, total resistance is that is what R in 5 and 10 are parallel. So, 5 into 10 divided by 5 plus 10. This is in series with the two. So total resistance is given by R terminal is equal to 5.33. So this result must be equal to load resistance for maximum power transfer. So this is equal to R. R is equal to 5.33. So option C is the right answer. I hope I understand all the problems. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you.